Right, I'm Mark Trotter I'm from uh, University of New England. I'm a uh, senior lecturer in precision agriculture up, up there and I'm um, currently the uh, 2015 BCG Sheep Management Showcase. And uh, I've been talking about a couple of things here today. We've actually got some trials running over at uh, Oyen where we're GPS tracking sheep, looking at um, the utilisation of paddocks, different parts of the paddock and how they, particularly how they use um, the more vulnerable sandy soil areas and um, found some really interesting results where we see sheep preferentially grazing those, those lighter soils early on in the rotation, uh, but then moving on to utilise the rest of the paddock uh, more evenly later into the rotation. But also some really interesting behavioural changes and how they're actually using um, the paddock uh, as it runs out of feed. So obviously they're picking up a lot of spilt grain across the paddock and as that spilt grain runs out, uh, we think they have to they change their, their grazing behaviour, particularly their time spent grazing decreases and we suspect that may become a, a really good uh, signal um, for producers once we get real-time tracking systems that allow us to, to watch the sheep um, remotely from home on a smartphone or something like that, give us a signal to, um, that data will give us the signal to, to know when we should be moving sheep out of that paddock. Uh, some of the other stuff I've been talking about is um, some of the future technologies coming in, so things like virtual fencing, where we actually control where animals are allowed to graze in a paddock remotely, um, electronic devices on them, and I think there's tremendous potential for that down here, where we can actually move sheep off areas that might be getting overgrazed and, and getting low ground cover, move them onto other areas that they may not have grazed yet. So. Uh, a lot of potential for the technologies uh, down here in the Mallee. This is my one of my first visits down here, so i um, really looking forward to getting around and seeing some of the country over the next couple of days.